Hey, what's up everybody? You see in your aquarium these flat little brown spots everywhere. You might see them all over the glass, on rock, on your sand, and they might even show up on some coral. And occasionally you might see them kind of moving or gliding along. If you have them bad, you'll see them everywhere. Well, I have a tank that I'm at right now that has this exact problem. So I'm gonna take you guys inside with me. I'm gonna show you guys how to deal with this problem. So let's get started. So walking in, this tank is in pretty rough shape, but one thing at a time, let's focus on this. If you look at that coral, you can see those little brown dots all over it, kind of like polka dotted. You can see them all there. Those are flatworms and they are everywhere in this tank. If you have something similar in your tank, um, they are definitely a nuisance and I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them. Again, you can see them, you can really see them good on coral, but they're everywhere throughout this tank. So we're gonna use this uh, flatworm exit by Salifert today. Um, I've used this stuff in the past. It definitely has an effect on the flatworms. So I'm gonna dose this in right now and let's see how the flatworms react. Now it's important to siphon as many of these flatworms out as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a, I got my mini little siphon here, really thin so I can not take out too much water but I can get to those flatworms and then just a bucket right here to siphon them out in. So I got my siphon going, the smaller the siphon, the better. And I'm just gonna basically suck these guys up and just into my bucket here and get as many out as possible because when they die, they release toxins and we don't want that in the water. We wanna get it out. Again, here's another coral with them uh, just completely just buried in there. Um, this coral is just being completely taken over by these flatworms. Now they're not eating the coral, they are irritating it, but they're not, uh, directly feeding on the coral. And then they're on this euphelia coral. There are some flatworms that will eat certain corals. There are some flatworms a little bit more dangerous than others. These aren't that type. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and siphon off as many of these guys as I possibly can. Again, another coral here just completely being smothered by the flatworms. Now that's a blue, uh, Discosoma mushroom, that's not supposed to have those brown spots on it. Those are flatworms. And it seems like hammer corals are particularly bothered by them. If you notice your hammer corals kind of staying in and be, you can see the two heads on the bottom there, they're kind of retracted. That's because the flatworms are irritating that hammer so much and even almost digging into the coral's mouth. Um, they're not feeding on it. There are some that do feed on it, but these aren't feeding on that coral. They're just irritating it to the point where they're stressing the coral out. They're all over uh, the heads and the polyps of that coral. So I'm gonna begin our treatment now. Um, you're gonna see a big difference on how those flatworms act now. Now look at the change in them. See how fast they're moving now? The medication is definitely having an effect. And if you look closely, you can even see some of them that are peeling away and floating in the water column, but they are moving. That medication, that flatworm exit is having a, a definite effect on them, which is a good sign. They're still, look at that, look at on the coral, look at how fast they're moving now as uh, uh, compared to before. So um, I'm gonna continue to try to just siphon as many out as possible. They're floating in the water right now. Um, we want to get it out, as many out as possible because they release toxins in the water column that is extremely dangerous and toxic to fish and coral. If you have a bad enough infestation in your tank, you need to continue to siphon the flatworms out. You do not want them dying in your aquarium. I cannot stress this enough. So even on the coral here, I'm just gonna gently just siphon. That's, this is exactly why you want a smaller siphon. Just suck up as many of those little flatworms as possible to not stress the coral out. Look at all of these flatworms that came out of here. Look at that. All, look at hundreds, hundreds of them all on the side here. Just, this bucket is completely filled. It's a ton of them, all in there. It's important, it's so important to get as many of these out as possible. Now we're gonna do a significant water change. It's gonna be 50% of the water volume. Now we are done now, we are filled up. One thing I wanna add is make sure to add a fresh carbon 
to the tank uh, when you're done with this treatment or during the treatment. You wanna be able to have fresh carbon in there to get any uh, of those uh, toxins that those flatworms release in the water column. You wanna make sure you have carbon in there to get it out. Um, all in all, there is still some flatworms in, in here. This is the worst infestation that I personally have ever seen. This is gonna take multiple tries to, to be able to be successful and to eradicate them. Um, and I was under no illusions that we were gonna get it done today. This is gonna be a continuous effort. There's a lot more in this tank that we need to take care of, but this is the first step. But the good news is those two heads of hammers are coming back out. So all in all, I think that was a, a very successful first treatment. Um, we're gonna have to come back in 11, uh, probably in about two weeks and hit it again. And um, we'll just keep doing treatments, you know, every so often and keep try to keep the numbers down and eventually hopefully try to wipe them out. It'd be nice to get a fish in there to be able to um, also help with uh, the reduction of the flatworms. Some of the fish that um, I personally noticed that do well with the flatworms are the yellow chorus wrasse and the melanaris wrasse seems to be the best. Like I said before, there are several, several other issues in this tank the Aptasia, permitted snails, cyanobacteria. We're gonna take it step by step. We haven't been out into this tank in, in quite some time. So we're gonna take this step by step. We're not gonna do too much. We're gonna hit the flatworms first. The Aptasia, we have some peppermint shrimp in there now, and I will be doing some treatments for that as I go back. Lastly, we'll hit that cyanobacteria with some either ChemiClean or red slime treatment, some type of red slime treatment. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you'd like to add anything or what worked for you to get rid of flatworms, please leave it in the comments down below. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. I am off to another job.